What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. And although I don't plan to do a daily video for Symbiotes in the Snow, unfortunately due to scheduling problems, I did promise on day two we would take a look at the special ISO for hybrid in the store. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm sure by now most of you have seen these ISO but we're still going to briefly go over them. And then after that we'll take a look at the daily mission and what you can win for today. Alright so first of all I was shocked to see the sheer selection size of these E-ISO and especially the A-ISO. It really does add an extreme customization level for hybrid. Unfortunately it does cost 20 gold for each E-ISO and then it's going to cost varying prices for the A-ISO. But the first empowered ISO 8 that you're going to see in the store is called Numb. It grants hybrid feel no pain. So he takes reduced damage from all attacks. Damage reduction is never a bad thing, so this could be pretty promising. Then moving on to the next E-ISO, it's called Life Draining and Powered ISO 8. It's going to grant him leeching life, so he restores health when attacking a bleeding target. Basically this is like Vampiric, but for every single attack. Once again, not bad. Then moving on we have the most interesting new E-ISO, and that's the Genetic Memory and Powered ISO 8. The interesting part about this is it works for Hybrid, Agent Venom, or Anti-Venom and it's going to grant them Symbiotic Synergy. This states that all allies with a Symbiote gain an increase to accuracy, attack, defense, and evasion. So this is great news for a Symbiote team, and most likely this will be the first E-ISO that I get, especially since I'm so excited to team up Anti-Venom along with Hybrid. Now the crazy thing is that's not all, there's also two more new E-ISO, first of which is going to be the Sentient Empowered ISO 8, and this grants Hybrid Symbiote Sense. Chance to perform a preemptive attack when attacked. And finally, the Red Knight and Powered ISO 8. This grants him Selective Protector, so he'll protect allies from single target and area attacks, but he will not protect against counter classes. I can already think of some really nice uses for just about all of these E-ISO. I guess the main problem is going to be, how do we get them all? I think it would be incredible if they showed up on one of these daily mission roulettes, but that does remain to be seen. Next, moving on to the character specific augmented ISO 8, you can see there's two pages of A-ISO. And yes, they're all for hybrid. I believe they go in order of his skills, so we begin with Riot and end with Lasher. So the first one is the Riding Augmented ISO 8, and it causes Bloody Riot. So Riot gains Exploits Bleeds, dealing extra damage against bleeding targets. That sounds very nice, especially with his Bruiser class. Then we have Impending Riot, which causes his level 1 to gain guaranteed hit. Not that I dislike guaranteed hit, but that's not overly impressive. Then moving on we see the pinned down augmented ISO 8. This one actually works on both Riot and Agony, and it causes pins and needles. Applies pin cushion taking extra damage from counter and follow up attacks. Then once again for both Riot and Agony, the agonizing augmented ISO 8 causes malicious intent. This means it applies pain, increasing damage taken by 8% and stacks up to 3 times. Next we have Hunger Pangs for his level 2 Agony, and it says just a taste. Agony gains Consume. Mmm, tasty. I believe Consume should heal him a bit. Then moving on, the Quilled Augmented Iso 8 is also for Agony, but Lasher as well. So that is slightly out of order, but it grants Serrated. This causes the attacks to gain hemorrhage, causing all applications of bleeding to trigger. Since Lasher is an AoE attack, that sounds amazing. Especially once again if you're using his Bruiser class, which causes 3 stacks of bleeding on all attacks. This guy is going to single-handedly bring bleed teams back. Then next we have the Infectious Augmented Iso 8 for Phage. It has Creep Spread, so Creeping Infestation now has a chance to spread to allies when an offensive action is used. Creeping Infestation says performing offensive actions will cause the hybrid infestation to spread, causing damage and applying pressure points, but it's also removed after performing a fire or sonic attack. Then the debilitating augmented ISO 8 is going to cause sapping infestation. This says that phage will apply to power, so actions no longer apply statuses. That is awesome because we know how incredible the power is. That may in fact be another must have. Then moving on to page 2, first we see the Fatiguing Augmented Iso 8, and this causes Wilting Infestation. Phage applies Withered, reducing damage done by 
and can stack three times. And finally, we're on his Lasher Attack, aka his AoE, and it's a guaranteed hit. For that, we have the Infested Augmented Ice 08. This grants it Creeping Sensation. So Lasher has a chance to apply Creeping Infestation, causing enemies to take damage when they attack. Plus, it applies Pressure Points and Hybrid Infestation. What that says is unable to use debuff abilities. Putting that on an AoE attack sounds very nice. So I don't know if we can top it, but next we have the Shifting Augmented Ice 08. This causes Shifting Side so it applies Flanked, which means single target attacks against the target grant a follow-up attack. Adding Flank to the entire enemy team, also nice. Then we have the Lashing Augmented Ice 08, which says Lasher removes all beneficial status effects. That's a pretty good alternative to a scroll or if you don't have the cube. And that one is only 5 gold. Then moving on to the final Augmented Ice Await, it's called Thrashing and it's going to cost 10 gold. It says Lasher will gain Catastrophic so it's guaranteed to hit, which it already is, but it ignores Avoidance effects and cannot be protected against. So there you have it, all of Hybrid's Special ISO which is in the store right now. Like I said, this adds a level of customization that we've never seen before. It definitely increases my interest that much more. So I can't wait to unlock them, and I hope it doesn't take too much longer past Christmas. But in order to give you the best chance to unlock them, you have to do your daily mission, and try your best to complete the weekly quest. For today, Thursday, we have to complete a mission to defeat Selene. And besides those five lockboxes, there is also another special roulette. So once again, go right to your flight deck and click on Daily Mission. For this one, you can only use female heroes. And just check out the possible rewards. First of all, the Neurotrope, one of the greatest items ever sold. But just because it's shown here doesn't mean it's going to appear on your roulette. But still, it is a possibility and so are all these other amazing weapons like the Phoenix Flare. Talk about a heavy hitter, I always wanted this weapon. But unfortunately, it didn't show up on my roulette, which is going to be the last thing that I show you in this video. First up on mine is going to be a Team Healing Elixir, so nothing special there. But then we can get the Wave Nullifier. It has a counter attack and residual charge. So it removes most beneficial status effects and prevents new ones from being applied. Then after that we have a Stunner 4 followed by a Worthless Expert Isolate Crystal. Then we have the Dense Electrotech Hammer and this applies wide open, winded, and static charge. Plus it does come with tech upgrade but I already have this item. So moving on we have the Lightning Rod, which does have Charged Attack, Exploits Chill, Exploits Flying, and Guaranteed Hit. And this is a weapon that I don't have so hopefully we win this one. Next there's the Precision Focus Aperture, and all it does is give focus to all allies. Then there's the Handheld ISO-8 Scanner, once again not very good, and then a Booster Sledge Prototype which is unfortunately only level 20. And we end up getting the... Worthless Expert Ice Away Crystal. Well, I really hope that your spin goes better than mine did, but that is going to bring us to the end of this video. I'd like to thank you all for watching and ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, good luck and take care.